Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, um, we moved on a bit more, um, and now we are up against Arena Ferox. Um, I did a bit of grinding, uh, in between episodes, so, um, Frederick's level 2, he's just like, he, he has a ring on fucking Lance. Okay, so everyone's at least around level 7 to 9. I'm level 9. Um, also, I forged a uh, iron sword, and I also got like a bunch of stuff, because there's like things you could pick up, and you know, all that jazz. You know, we got some bows. Um, we got two of these. Ancient lightning magic, which I actually have D rank on uh, tomes. So, um... If I decide to use this energy drop, I can, um, go ahead and make myself use it. Um, albeit my character's more of a strength build. Oh, hello? Um, okay, so, um, okay. We had, like, an Anna. Wait, Master Seal? Oh, come on in. Okay, level 10. I'm gonna go take one of these. Iron bow, um, so yeah, I bought one, of, I bought some from Anna, and she just dipped the fuck out. Um. Take your time. Talesman, what does a Talesman do? Okay. Um, but in today's episode, I think we're gonna go ahead and check out this, this, uh, paralog. Sickle to sword. Don't really know what that's about, but, uh. Help! You got to help us! I beg you, my lords! Hmm? Slow down. What happened? <laughs> Oi! There's the wee piglet! Great. Bandits. What? What's this? Little lordling come to watch over this chattel? Ha ha ha. Aw, damn me! Sh shepherds! <laughs> That's right. So what will it be? Run and live? Or fight and die? I mean, it kind of seems obvious. <clears throat> Listen. Quickly, lad. What happened here? <clears throat> yes, my lord. Uh, right away, my lord. Uh, if... It if it please your graciousness. You alright? Maybe just hold off on titles for now. What's your name? Donnie! Uh, uh, that is Donald. Oh, you're majestiful. I live in the village just beyond, sir. <sighs> I guess I'll do. Now what happened? <sighs> that rotten tooth pig stinking bandit you just ran off attacked us. Or, pardon my language, your lordliness. I'm the one who got away. And even then, just barely. They're rounding up the others to haul them off to a bandit camp. Please, sir. You got to save them, folks. My ma's one of them, and she's all I got in this world. Please, your royal highness. God! This blast of war seems to spawn more evils by the day. All right, Donnie, we'll save your ma. Can you lead us to her? Hi, oh, thank oh, you, yeah. my lord. Thank you. Just follow me, your sirness. The far forest. Hey! Oh my god, his name is Roddick. And you're sure, uh, you're sure of this? Right. On, on the grave of my sainted mother, I swear it. It was Crumb and the Shepherds, and no mistake. <laughs> a fancy lord will fetch a high ransom from noble folk. Well, the little man's squealing for mercy in no time. Oh. Mother. We got nothing left to take, sirs. Please, let our children go. What? Quit your bleating. Boss. Boy, Roddick, I think this cow's the mum of the bread that well, ran away. <laughs> Say, I know this one. Hey, shut up, male. Hold on. You're the wife of the man that broke my rib last time we were here. Oh. And you killed him for it, you monster. I wish he'd done you. I wish he'd done for you first. <laughs> Small wonder the brat's got more brass than brains if you're his mum. Guess we'll see for ourselves when we catch him, eh? Maybe we'll even make you watch as we get him. <laughs> God, no, please, he's just a boy. I'm starting to get like an inspiration of how <laughs> they did the Mozu paralog in Fates. This is where they're taking up camp, your lord, your lordshipness. Good. Uh, Right, thanks, Donnie. Stay close now. Huh? Big pardon, Lord. You mean I can't fight, sir? I never even struck a pig before. Uh, oh, sorry. Um... I just assumed. I, I mean, look, j just stay here. You'll be fine. <sighs> I wish I was strong as you, sirs and madams. Kick that scum out single-handed, I would. Right. Then you should fight and grow stronger. <clears throat> but I ain't... Grind. It's time for you to grind, kid. Mm. No man is born a warrior, Donnie. And farm work makes for fine training. A sickle's not far from a sword, after all. Bands may be tougher than wheat, but the principle's the same. Uh, <laughs> all right, my lord. I can fight too. But as as you say, I'm no warrior. But these are my people. 
got to do what I can. All right, who do I pick? Up. Oh. Are you ready? Nope, not yet. Everyone, in place. Yeah. R ready. Uh, who do I pick? Who do I pick? Um. Uh, I'll throw myself on. I also got like an ass load of fucking supports. So like. I have supports with like a billion people, billion people, billion people, billion people, billion people, billion people, bill you get the gist of it. Um, oh, okay, so Krom is the one that we can't take out. Oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a thief or something. Um, let's see, how many chest keys are there? How many chests are there? Two chests. The leader. Um, oh, there he is. All right. If I can get stronger, he says. I guess it can't hurt to try. I sure won't get in the way. Gosh, that would just be awful. If Donnie levels up in this chapter, he'll join the shepherds. If he fails to grow, it's back to the farm for him when the battle ends. Oh. He has a bronze lens. All right, go for it. Yeah, I think this uh, might be a better idea. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, go with you, actually. Um, you two can vibe together. And I guess you'll go fuck yourself. I need to figure out how I can prompt that more often when they just... Of course. Don't kill the killer. That was god awful. This kid gets a level, so I gotta make sure he kills someone. Alright, you're up. I, uh, yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'll just skip that. Um, there we go. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Let me make sure this lag gets a gets a level up. Okay, villager. Um, weak but pick capable, great things. You listen, calm with a fun way of talking. <laughs> I love that. Alright. We got some thieves inbound, it looks like. Okay. Easy time. 
target. You missed. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Permanent memory now. <laughs> no more holding the others back now. Congratulations, you killed a man. Uh, should start leveling up the lances. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, stay here. We'll go ahead and do something here. Can you kill us? I promise you that. Let's do this. There we go. Yeah, that's bastard has, has that lance. We need more healers. That's like the thing we need more healers. Oh, nice! You saved my heart. Can I break this? No, I can't break that. Okay. Uh, what? An ancient weapon? Alms Blade? Seriously? I got a B-Rank Sword Episode 3 of this Let's Play. What the fuck? Okay, I'm not complaining. Um, okay, who has that fucking door key? Okay, just key it is. Gonna hurt me, buddy boy. There we go. Get the final kill. There we go. Alright, crumb boy. What do we got here? Okay, Lisa needs that. What's up? Want some? Oh shit! I 
That's not good. Okay. Kill me. wish that you could heal yourself. It's like one big card by having for mages and fire them, or healers and fire them that can't heal themselves. Okay. Severely not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to whittle him down a slight bit. Um, <laughs> time the castle whelps learn what us wildborn men can do. Bro, I don't even know. I don't even know who I am. Howie. Oh, Going for the no, you can't kill yet. Ooh. Oh, okay. He hasn't learned his lesson. <laughs> this ain't where. But it did. But it does, boy. Ooh, you can tell I get stronger. What's that skill? We did it! We read them bands for good and all. Yes. A worthy first victory, Donnie. You fought well. Yeah! Ma! Ma, it's me! Oh, oh Donnie! Thank goodness you're safe. I was worried near to death, boy. I can't thank you enough for sending my son in our village, my lord. Donnie, where are your manners? Take a knee and thank his lord, yes. I owe you! I can't begin to thank a uh, repair. Uh, re I should stop commentating. I can't begin to repay all what you've done for us, sir. But thank you! No, let the charge, Donnie. We just picked off the stragglers. All your potential and use it to keep this village safe. Damn. Wait, please! Something hmm? wrong? I'm I request, you. sir, if it pleases your grace in, grace in this. Take me with you, my lord. Let me be a shepherd like you. Good livestock I am. Please, sir. What? Hush now, you fool boy. I can fight too! I want to hone my whatever you said. I want to keep this place safe. Now, if that was good for nothing more than shoveling dirt. But my lord, show me. There's more I can do. More I needs to be doing. God, help us! Needs to be knowing your place, boy. A farmhand's no fit for a royal. I actually would be thrilled to have him. Oh, get fucked, mom! The shepherd's in the ever good man we could find, and your son fought bravely. Oh. But besides, he's of age. It's not. It's not. It's not child soldiering, right? You're very kindness to say much, your lordship, but well, you're a man grown now, Donnie. Suppose you can make up your own mind. <coughs> oh, ma. Safe journey. Just come back safe, love. I'll see the village is still standing when you return to Hero. Well, off you then. Glory's waiting, boy. Yeah. I ain't fighting for glory, ma. I'm fighting for you. But if I do find some glory, I'll be sure to bring it home for you. Oh. Just come home alive, Donnie. Well, that was a paralogue. Oh. Looks like we got some shitters up ahead. Alright. What can I fix you with? No, he can't use it yet. Uh, okay. You know, I'll keep, I'll keep a tr I'll keep a chest key on hand. I mean, why not? And a door key. Um. I'll just store that. Okay, we got some supports now. Crom and me. Crom! Sup, Crom? Are you alright? Hmm? Uh, yes, I'm fine. What's got you so excited? <sighs> are you. You, had, you were attacked behind the mess tent. Mm. 
Some local thug approached with a dagger, but he bolted when I drew iron. It was dark. The poor fellow probably thought he was mugging a merchant. <laughs> you challenge him alone? <laughs> yeah, I'm a lord. I'm a badass. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say challenge, exactly. More like shoot away. Can't very well leave that sword around the camp now, can we? <sighs> By the gods, Crumb, please, I beg you, do not take any more of these foolish risks. <laughs> <laughs> Realize we're at war, right? Just walk onto the battlefield's a risk. No. I don't fear anyone besting you head on. I fear you're being stabbed in. <laughs> oh, that's ironic coming from me. Many of our enemies do not share your sense of honor. Hmm? Do you really think some random cut person would get the better of me? Well. Shall I list every hero who said that before being poisoned, sniped, or snared? <clears throat> well, I don't think a list is that. Alright. You're our commander, Krom. Battlefield victories mean nothing if an army loses its leader. No, you're no longer simply your own man. You stand for all of us. Mm. Enough. You have a point. You're right, as you always are. Oh, please don't tell him. Don't say that to me. If anything, I'm always wrong. I'll be more careful. Thank you, Mason. <sighs> really? Well, that was a big one. Huh? Oh, Crom. Listen. Come on your mind? Or are you just sighing for the sheer joy of it? Oh, the latter. <sighs> well, I just... Do I seem like a princess to you? What? Uh, how's that? <laughs> I'm asking if I seem like a princess. Right. If you aren't, you owe some rent for your room in the castle. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, hardy har. That's not what I m mean, and you know it. Oh, I just realized I ever got to turn on, uh... Full screen. There we go. Oh, that actually looks a bit better. Oh, hardy har. That's not what I mean, and you know it. I'm asking if you think I live up to my station. Hmm. I'll put this on. When I compare myself to you and Emerin, I feel like dead weight. Hmm? Stupid thing I say. What? Hey! <sighs> well, it's the truth. You're fine just how you are, at least. Lissa, give yourself a little credit. I'll see you later. What? <sighs> hey, don't give me a lazy answer and then run away. Hope you trip and break your nose, jerk face. Okay, that last bit may not be the most princess-like. Alright, you two need a fuck. Hello. Oh, oh there you are. Hmm? Hello, Samia. D did you need something? No. Uh, no. Mason's just looking for you. Oh, fuck's sake. He's looking to fucking... Get pissed at me for trying to sacrifice my life for Pakistan again, isn't he? Mm. Oh, right. The strategy, Mason. Poor Mason does love to. Ugh! Captain! Come. Are you alright? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. I'm just tripped on a pedal. <laughs> God, it's embarrassing. It's because you're so exhausted. You've been working too hard lately. No. I'm fine, Samia. Besides, we're all tired. Such endless fighting wears on everyone. <sighs> Krom. You've no need to don a brave face for my sake. You carry twice the burden of anyone. It's only natural that you're exhausted. Thank you. You're kind to say so, but in truth, everyone looks to their commander for inspiration and strength. An army is only as stalwart as its leader. The insides show weakness, or through. Must be so hard for you. Right. I'll be fine. And please don't speak of this conversation to everyone, alright? I'm gonna tell the whole fucking world. <laughs> no, of course not. I would- <laughs> <laughs> At ease, Sumia. And stop worrying so much. It'll take more than a few battles to bring the soldier to his knees. Oh. I know. You're the greatest warrior that I have ever- I just realized something. Hmm? What is it? But- You trust me with a secret. It's our first secret together. Oh my god. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it is. Well- Don't worry. My lips are sealed tighter than a bear trap. As long as you promise to take a nap before the strategy meeting. What? What? Yes! I'll just tell Mason that you've been delayed. Really? And if I don't agree to your terms, I'll <laughs> tell everyone the mighty crown was bested by a mere pebble. Right. That sounds like blackmail. Still, I suppose a short nap couldn't hurt. <sighs> ah, so thrilling to be able to help out like this. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams. <sighs> Girl's a strange nag for getting her way. I guess I'll go jerk off in the meantime. <clears throat> Ogre's teeth. Where are the blue blazes has Krom gone to? I heard he's taking a nap. Say, hey, Lissa, you ain't seen that brother of yours shulk skulking around, have you? <laughs> if I had, I wouldn't tell you. What? Oh, come on. It's nothing serious. Why you gotta take his side all the time? Right! Because he's my brother, and I know you just want to hit him with something. God, you're like children, the both of you. Hey! I could try to explain it, but you wouldn't understand. It's a warrior thing. We like hitting each other with big objects. D d no, don't look down there. <sighs> you're like an idiot thing. You know there are other ways to communicate? Besides hop bopping each other on the head with blunt axes, I mean. Hey. Look, listen. The Viking doesn't hate your bro. Heck, I like him. Most of the time. And he takes him on board. Actually, my energy drink, I lied. But we gotta fight. Fate made us rivals, and we're ready to defy fate. 
Oh, now that is exact. That is just absurd. So what exactly are you rivals? Huh? Well, well you know, stuff. No, I don't. I think I have a grudge against Krom, and that's all there is to it. A oh, grudge? Please. No way. I respect the man. He's the greatest warrior in the realm. But if you want to be the best, you gotta beat the very best. Huh? Uh huh. But don't go tell him I said that. He knew I was praising him. He, he never hear the end of it every time we squared off. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Teach. I'll keep you a little secret. Oh man, there's so many supports. Right. It's quite the handsome blade you carry, Varian. Does he become like some sort of like archer slash swordsman later? Do tell. Huh. You have a discerning eye, Frederick. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? Elegant, sophisticated, perfect match for its owner. Why, it's almost really the hilt bears the sigil of House Clave. <sighs> yes, but you interrupted me. I was gonna say I knocked it off one of the fucking royal gods. Forgive Apologies, me. Apologies, but it's been troubling me for some time now. How is it you come to hold a dag of one of Ulysses high high noble houses? I fucking sacked the dude, alright? Ah, oh, yes. I enjoyed a brief but fruitful col collaboration with the Cla Claves once upon a time. More specifically, one young and very beautiful Clave. She gave me this blade as a token of our everlasting friendship. Explain. I see. And when exactly did you find the time to foster such a bond? <sighs> ah, my dear naive Frederick. Not all bonds take equal time to form, you know. Some are forged in a lifetime, while others spring to life in a moment. Others still take, but one very good- Nice, so basically you fucked her. Oh, wait. Please, spare me the pious air. Pi pious air. But, there's yet a hint of envy, I see as well. <laughs> well, permit me to explain. It is my avocation to grant noble ladies a brief respite from their dreary lives. By inserting the penis in the vagina. I know of no better way to do so than by romance and sweet perfume. Cock. Cock. I always act to the gentleman. No harm befell the, their honor or reputation. Ah. Although it's never my concern. These noble houses are built of sturdier stuff than one's dandiest escapades can shake. Ah. Tell me, sir. Do you always smile, smile so as you twist the blade in a fellow's gut? Yes, well. I wonder the history of my blade. And now curiosity is slaked. But... That's quite all. This dandy shall leave you to savor your unshakable honor. Right. Have occasion, he says. <laughs> quite the hobby. Yet I bet he has made, made many other powerful allies through his trysts. Dandy or no, the man is sly. He thinks he merits watching. You're a little sus, my guy. Oh my god. How many supports do I... Holy shit. This is going to take years. Hmm. The other kind of ghost, but I refuse to put a stock in such things. <clears throat> Claim what is a ghost? <coughs> uh. Oh, it's you, Calum. You surprised me. Sorry. Sorry, you looked a bit little worried. I just want to see if you're alright. Um, well, there is something troubling me. The men are reporting strange incidents. A baffling phenomenon that defy explanation. Okay. Oh, goodness, like what? Hmm. Well, for example, whenever a group of us uh, gather, drinks materialize at the table. Also, there's always one more cup than people present. Everyone denies that they brought the cup or served the drinks. It's most- I got a feeling it's gonna lead to Callum. It's a peculiar in fact that some are claiming it to be the work of spirits. <clears throat> it's not a ghost, it's me! I'm just a forgettable lad! Huh? Of course it's not, I just don't know what I could pop- uh, It's okay. me! I... <laughs> Case closed. Uh, you? But wait, why would you bring one cup too many? If you That's say my so. cup. I guess it's because no one ever notices me. I what? See. That's almost as absurd as a ghost theory. You have a lot of learn, my guy. Hey. Callum. Hey, Callum. Okay. Yes? Um... Got bone pig with you, pipsqueak. Chrome tells me that in our last battle you were secretly watching my back. If you say so. I wasn't trying to keep it a secret, Sully. I was just fighting alongside... <sighs> well, knock it the hell off. I'm the one who does the protecting around here, got it? But, but, uh, I'm a general. I, I'm, I have the armor. I don't need some tiny man in a huge suit of armor watching me. But I don't know. Might. You think I need extra protection? That it? You think I'm a frail and weak? You think you can be my gallant knight in shiny oversized armor? No. I wasn't giving you special treatment. Honest. I just like protecting people. Hmm. I'll say this once, Pipsqueak. Don't ever pull that crap again. Are we clear now? Word sank in? Because if we are, I'm done. I've got better things to do with it than yell at you, Tin Man. <clears throat> of course you do. I, 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 well, well, bye. Oh, that was brutal. <clears throat> uh, stall? 
Ugh, gracious me, Calm. How long have you been lurking there? Jesus Christ, this guy's definition of heavy armor 100, stealth 100. Sorry. I don't know, 20 minutes? They said you were looking for me in mm. 20 minutes. Good heavens, Cal. Next time, clear your throat or something. Anyway, yes, I have a question for you. Can my phone what? stop fucking buzzing? Sure, how can I help? So, uh... I'm just wondering, how do you feel when you're engaged with a foe? If you say so. I'm engaged with a foe? Well, pretty normal, I guess. Why do you ask? <sighs> you see, the thing is, in battle, I often feel uh, unsettled and nervous. I worry that I may be letting my colleagues down out in the field. You, on the other hand, always appear perfectly unflappable in combat. No. Uh, I may look unflappable, but inside, I'm really quite nervous. I'm scared sometimes. Well, I remember this one time... Hmm? Lies! I don't believe them for a second. I never look at you. You're poised, calm, and in total control. Uh, Wait, I don't you know. see me on the battlefield? No one ever noticing me out there. I, I tend to blend in, you see. <sighs> yes, yes, we all know about your little issue, but I wanted to discuss. <sighs> Gosh, though, if I'm not invisible, I better be more careful out there. This has been big help talking to you. Thanks so much. Nah. You're perfectly well. Hey, wait a sec. I was the one looking for help here. Where'd he go? Wow. Well, Alright, if that oath can be cool and collected, I can be too. I was have to work twice as hard at it. One word. Noise. Hello. Frederick, what are you doing up so early? Ah. Good morning, Samia. I'm inspecting everyone's weapons and armor to ensure all is ready for battle. Huh? But it's not even done yet. Don't you ever sleep? No. I sworn to serve Krom and those shepherds to the best of my abilities. As commander, Krom bears a burden far heavier than any of us. It would it would ill behoove me to neglect any opportunity to lessen that load. It's fortunate to have you. Imagine getting up this early to just the check ear. Well... I should not stir this morning specifically satisfy myself as to our battle readiness. I also exercise, perform a number of weapon drills, and patrol the camp. All with literally 30 minutes of sleep. I then stoked a fire, ready the makings for morning tea, and consumed one singular hard-boiled egg. What? Uh, right. Oh, and I scared off a noisy flock of birds nesting too near my lord's tent. Then, with no other pressing task, I took the time to inspect our equipment. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I might have to, like, cut this out. Okay, I think they shut the fuck up. Okay. <clears throat> Apologies, my lady. You must find my pride to be terribly dull. I've often criticized for what some consider being an excess of zeal. Such devotion appears to make my comrades uneasy. That was amazing! Oh, I think it's wonderful. What? You do? Yes! Absolutely. You're an inspiration, Frederick. There's no other word for it. Look at all you do for Krom. It makes me wish I was more like you. I'm so sick of being the girl whose main contribution is falling on her face. I know we need l levite in these times, but I would still prefer to do more. My thanks. I don't know what to say. I'm the first person who's ever understood what I'm trying to do. Perhaps we should join our causes to each other, and maybe our genitalia. We could keep be the grease that keeps the shepherds running smoothly. Here goes! Ah, uh, now that is a splendid idea. How much more do I have to succumb? 98, 99, 100. Oh, Hold a moment. Why do you repeat that same motion over and over again? It's called exercise. Hmm? Have you never heard of shadow fencing? Now then. Assuming it entails performing sword strikes and parries with an imaginary opponent. Is the point of the exercise pure kinetic stimulation, or is there more to achieve? Um... Well, by performing moves second nature, you can perform them better and faster. Fascinating. Oh my god, here we go again, boys. Okay, I think we're good. Interesting, so the goal is to remember the moves in your muscles, not your mind. I think this process warrants further study. Would you mind terribly if my much if I do? Nah. Um In theory, no, but I just finished for the day and I'm exhausted. Uh. I see. That is disappointing. Most terribly disappointing. <sighs> but we really want, I suppose I can run a few more drills. 
Why, thank you. I believe 200 repetitions would be suffice to establish a bit. 200? Huh? 200. Good God, I don't have the energy for that. Hmm. Most terribly dis- Fuck off. Uh. Well, I suppose I can find another more lucrative, lucrative field of study. Professor just observe this rock. Yes, that should suffice. You have fun studying rocks. Hmm, it's round. Hand smooth. Wait, no, it's still round. <clears throat> oh, right, all right, I'll do it. Just stop making me feel bad. Here we go. One, two, three. Very Excellent. Good. Nice. That was amazing! There. Doesn't that feel better? Your mane is all combed. No more tangles. Who's a good little peg is this, huh? Who's a good little peg is this? Hey. Are you talking that thing again? Yes. Oh, hi, Sally. Hmm. You're spoiling the animal. She's probably dying on a horse heaven. Huh? She does look happy, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, well. She's seen, she's seen you save through some terrible battles, so I suppose she's earned it. <laughs> You're quite fond of your horse, too, aren't you, Sully? Right. Hell, yes, I'm proud. He's got smarts and guts. What more could a woman want? Cock. <laughs> <laughs> when you talk about him, you sound like a proud mother. Hmm? I'm not the maternal type. No. Even so, it's obvious how fond you two are of each other. Whenever you praise him, he snores ever so happily. Oh, uh, yeah? You notice that? Hmm. Most folks just assume he's some mindless beast. Well... Oh, it's so nice to have someone that talked about this sort of thing. Do you have a minute to talk more? Chat about Pegasus and the like? I mean, if you don't mind, I know you're very busy. I don't mean to intrude. Nah. Intrude? I could talk horse until the, t the cows come oh, on. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, wonderful. I just want some tea and we can... Hey. Uh, hold it right there, girly. You just comb that horse top to bottom. You deserve a rest. You relax, put your feet up. I'll make the tea this time. Huh? Um, alright. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> I've never seen Sully look so excited about anything. How much more do I have to go? Muriel has so much sh uh, How discomposing. Hey. That looked like a pretty bad spill. Uh, Muriel, are you hurt? Very well. Minor concussion. Benign. <sighs> I see you were carrying- your, what, Everything you were carrying went flying. I see your herbs, some papers. Uh, wait, is this a book? A journal? Uh, Unhand that, sir. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I didn't realize it was so important. Hmm? Important? Hmm. Huh? Muriel? Right. I suppose it does bear some import, yes. It's a lodestar of sorts. One well, that points the way to the truth. It is also uh, Marth's class in Fireman, Fireman Fates. Whoa. Whoa, who wrote it? A famous mage or something? No. Not famous at all, no. The author was my mother. Yeah. yeah that explains the rough bi uh, no offense intended. So that's amazing. Was your mother a, a mage as well, or perhaps a scientist? Hmm. What's the impetus for your inquiry? Huh? Uh, impetus for my... You mean, why do I ask? I don't know. I'm curious. What most people be? Hmm? An autonomic reaction to con conversational stimulus. I see. I think we're good. Um, uh, did I say something strange? No. Curious, perhaps. Meriting closer study, certainly. Spontaneous, uh, reactive curiosity. Fascinating. But what is the underlying mechanism? <sighs> I really think we're reading too much into this. I just want to know why, bro. Oh my god, do we even have enough time to do the next chapter? Huh? <gasps> Hold a moment. Would we be so kind as to end, put an end to your cater walling? I'm trying to read, but I guess I can't. But I can't hear myself over your incessant grunting. Hey! <laughs> you gotta give your all when you train, or it's just a waste of time. Indeed. Mm, yes, I suppose that makes sense. The explosive uh, release of air from the lungs generates power in peripheral muscles. Huh? Who's got wrinkle muscles now? Fascinating. A rapid spin and rapid spin attacks create centripetal forces. A uh, force that increases overall speed. Fascinating. I imagine you use complex calculus to optimize your methods. What? Lady, from what, from what you just said, I understood fascinating, that's about it. Hmm? Surely you develop these skills of yours by calculating the forces involved. No. Tell me a bunch of math mumbo jumbo. I do it all by instinct. Hmm. Rational means have yet taken you to a rational technique. Fascinating. Perhaps this instinct of of which you speak bears further investigation. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is up with you in trying to study everything? God damn, woman. 
Fight in warring rationally. Just watch me next battle. Right. Farewell. I shall do just that. Thank Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let's do it. Two full titans. Forgive me. Prince Krom, please wait here while I summon the Khan. Good. Of course. Oh my god, she's loud as fuck. <sighs> the Khan is away? Right. Oh, training, I wager. The Khans of Frogs prefer battle to politics. Or rather, battle is their politics. Hmm. A warrior ruler, eh? I can picture him now. A man, a giant of a man of parallel foo. His broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> Am I now? Uh, please do go on. Uh. Huh? Is that the con? It was a lady all this time. Hello. <clears throat> You're the uh, that's to say, the con, I presume. Exactly. One of them, yes, the East Con. My name is Flavia. I apologize for the troubles of the border, Prince Krom. You are welcome, Re Regina Ferox. Thank, Thank you. you. But I am confident we can put that misunderstanding behind us. It is true bandits poison and Ulysses have been ransacking your border and villages. Right. Yes, those Plegan dogs. Their documents proven as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Plega must see some benefit in raising tensions between, between your kingdom and ours. <clears throat> Damn them! Uh, forgive me, Your Grace. That was undoubtedly put. <laughs> damn them and damn delicacy. Here in Farox, we appreciate plain speech. In that case, we should have a word with your damn border guards. Please. <laughs> now, that, now that's Frox, Froxy diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you come, Prince. But regrettably, I cannot provide any Froxy troops for you to see. Huh? What? Why not? I like the authority. What? Look at me. I don't understand. Aren't you the con? Listen. As I said, I'm one of the cons. There's about like 20 of them. In Ferox, the cons of East and West hold a tournament every few years. The victor requires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. But that means they have the final say when it comes to forging alliances. The West cons won the last tournament, you see. And so... <sighs> so we're to receive no aid at all. No. Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh, you see. And I'm in need of champions. Oh, I see where this is going. Hmm? What does this have to do with West Crom? We're, we're going to put ourselves in a tournament. Listen. The of my border car informs me your shepherds are quite capable. Perhaps you will consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament? If you win, and I become ruling Khan, I will grant your alliance. Really? I assume Ulysses had no place in such Froxy traditions. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, the Khans themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land will be rife with blood feuds and dead Khans. We don't involve comrades or kin for the same reason. Over time, it's decided the tournament should be fought by outsiders. Although the outsiders have never included foreign royalty, royalty that I know of, <laughs> regardless, it's your choice to make. Right. There is no choice, East Khan. My people are desperate. We face not only Plega's, Plega's constant attacks, but now the added threat of the Risen. If fighting you is the quickest way to an alliance, then we'll take up our steel. Right. <laughs> oh, I like you, Prince Crown. Hope you survive the tournament. Come, I'll show you the arena where the tournament is held. Be wary. I hear an especially able swordsman champions in West Con. It's alright. We shall be defeated by Ulysses' necessity. <laughs> Spoken again. I look forward to seeing your equally skilled blade. Yeah, he's not fated to die here. He's fated to die by me. Um, okay. We got Foroxy's. Foroxy soldier. Oh no. Why are you here? An enigmatic warrior who bear, bears legacy with the name of a legendary king, Lord Parallel Fulchiton, Marth only. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not Lucina. Okay, now I understand why it's called Ch Two Fulchitons. So you have the pair, Might Twelve, and yours is. Might five. Well, we are in a. We are in a stalemate. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw in Donald. Um. Uh, 
Um. <sighs> God damn it. Crom, look! Mm. I see him. Hey. Marth, one question before we begin. Fine <laughs> then. Our swords can speak for us. Uh, oh! Where did you get that? There's no way. Okay, why can't you do that in the game? Tell me, who taught you to fight like that? I was glitched. <laughs> All right. That is scary. Yeah, I I know how to work. Martha's a gifted swordsman, and this man look capable as well. Shin minor distance. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. Yikes, okay, um... I did not mean to do that, but so be it. You sure fight harder. I reckon you're fighting for some big dreams, huh? So we wish to demystify all the world's mysteries. No trifling endeavor right now. Okay, I'm gonna throw you over here, just in case Donnie takes some damage. Thank you, Krom. Okay, a lot of uh, growths. Oh boy. One stab. That's unfortunate. Okay. Stay focused. Now that strategy. Uh oh. Just to deal with these ones. Um, uh -oh. Double uh oh. It's all right. Not killing him. It's all right. Thanks, so Lucas Crumb. Now that's my co-progress. Done deal. Oh, 
this? Not very effective. Ah, thanks. Need some nice, uh, logic. Okay, let me just go ahead and, uh... Oh, here he comes. Oh, you're fucked. Hey. Who is your father? My apologies. I said enough for one day, sir. <laughs> is that how it is? This owes you her life. With that, you have my gratitude. But within these walls, I represent the East Con in the interests of Ulysses. I can't promise to stay my blade. But I vow not to shame you. <laughs> Never expected such useful arrogance. We shall see who shames who. Ready? <laughs> Wrong move! Yeah, fucked. I am bested. Impressive, if not surprising. You just beat her ass. Ah, you got charm. That was easy. Very nice. Well thought. You have my respect. And perhaps more to the point, you have your alliance. I will provide Ulysses with the soldier she needs. <laughs> thank you, Iskon. I should thank you. <laughs> Feels like ages since I I've held full power. Come on, you friends. Together we celebrate. Hello, who are you? Oh, bah, great. an excuse for a party and Flava jumps on it. Hmm? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, have we met? Yes. From the West Con, you so rudely removed from- Oops, uh, sorry, my dude. You're hardy with- we're hanging with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I picked the stronger man. Listen. What do you know about him? Hmm. Give me that Marf- Ugh, he's just some cell sword with delusions of grandeur. All I know is I turned up one even knocked my old champion flat. So at first sight, I'm doing like too old for such things. <laughs> anyway, he's gone now. I've been fled the moment the tournament ended. Oh. It's so dark and mysterious. <sighs> huh? Sounds like Mars got at least one fan. <sighs> well, I mean, come on, he is sort of dreamy, isn't he? Hey! And you're sort of dreaming. <laughs> Ouch, lighten up, big brother. I was just kidding. Shall we Lord, then? Lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we best return home. The Exalt will want news of, of our new alliance immediately. Yes. Right as always, Frederick. My ass hurts. Hey. Oh boy, before you go, I have a little present for you. Hello? Long Q? Long? Right. This is... How do you pronounce the name? Long? I'm calling him Long. My former champion. Not much for talking, my name, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Marth in my eye, in my mind. Okay, so this guy is Link. To be honest, I can't figure out how Marth bests him so quickly. What? Marth beat him? But he looks so big and strong. He does look beastly, like I like his outfit. Get back. Away from him. Oh what did I say? <laughs> I just stay in he's trying to put Long on the edge. Nonetheless, he's capable. Perhaps he has the makings of a con. Consider him West Frox's contribution to the Ulyssian cause. Ah, cool. We got another swordsman. We're certain about this. All right. Yes, yes, he's your man now. Listen. And Long, you have no objections? Right. He gives orders. I stab people. I think our roles are clear. Good. Alright then. Welcome aboard. Hmm. Oh no, we have to go back. More crap. We're not done yet. Oh. Then Ragnar Frogs will support Ulysses. Thank you, Krom. I knew sending you was the right choice. Mm. Used to see Frogs as warriors. Perhaps now our people will be safe from. Let me guess, speak of the fucking devil? Your Grace! Your Grace! Lord, forgive me. I bring alarming news. What's happened? Bella, slow down, please. What's happened? Right away. Plaguing soldiers have been sighted inside our southwest border. They've attacked a village in Themis and abducted the Duke's daughter. <gasps> but, th but that would be Maribel. Crown, we have to do something. <sighs> There's more. King Gangrel of Plega claims that Lady Maribel invaded his country. He demands we pay pre pre reparations for his insult. Gods! You are to believe a bastard like the Mad King of Plega? 
Enough. Peace, Krom. We must keep our wits about us. Still. Poor Sword has got to be done with it. The Mad King's been trying to provoke War of Yilsi at every step. No one sometimes drags his whole continent to hell with him. Yes, I agree my lord. the prince, your grace. You must demonstrate to Plega that such actions have consequences. I understand your feelings, Krom. Truly, I do. But if we give him the war he wants, then we lose, no matter what the outcome. The last conflict nearly ruined the haildom if left Felicians homeless and starving. I cannot repeat that mistake. I will offer parley. Yeah, you have fun with that. <gasps> uh, no, you can't. Please reconsider! Please, please reconsider, your grace. You cannot be trusted to act in good faith. So either we choose to march to war, or leave Lady Maribel to die. No, I'll not accept that. Very well. Forgive me, Your Grace. I spoke out of turn. I know you'll stand always by your own principles. Pray, allow the Pegasus Knights to accompany you, though. <laughs> I'm going to. Someone has to save you from, from your good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I won't be there for you and Maribel. <laughs> As you wish. Thank you all. Your strength will be mine. Okay, now are we done? No, we have more fucking shit. Dude, I just want to go home and... Well, I'm already home. I just want to go grab a bite to eat. Are you well, ready? Then, is everyone ready to go? It's a long march through the western mountains to the Plagian border. Fuck off, Steam. Who are you? Oh, hey! Captain, I'm all packed. When do we leave? <laughs> uh, Rickon, how did you... Go back inside. You're not old enough for this mission. But <sighs> Captain, you know my skill of magic. You know I can handle myself. I feel safe with your magic here protecting the garrison. Alright, we're off then. Be good. Alright, bye. Thought I was gonna walk with us. Hey! Be good? God, how old does he think I am? Well, I'll show him just how good I can be. Oh god, we gotta save his asshole, don't we? Okay, looks like we're going that way, and there's a new paralog. Barracks unlocked. The Alrom Gate has opened an island to the south. I have no idea what this is. Oh fuck, this is DLC. Yeah, obviously I can't connect. I don't have- I don't know how. Barracks. What is this shit? Roster. Okay, war. Traveler Martin was nothing prior to being found by the wayside. Chrome realized his tactical genius for the Muslims. The shepherds were his well, well, like, the mystery of the group, born on August 27th. The son of the hero king, while of noble blood, he also leads a militia known as the Shepherds. The most likely to break things, born May 26. The boy's little sister. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Um, he's a Myrmidon who wilts the presence of women. All right, Killing Edge. Oh, speaking of which, I got alms. It only has ten, bro. An ancient weapon. Oh my god, I gotta figure out how to fucking do something with that. Oh, level ten. Make you some Master Seal. Great Lord, a seasoned. Leader of royal blood, wield swords and lances. Okay. Probably won't do that until um, we max out our current level. <laughs> Grandmaster, I'm not surprised. A seasoned tactician upon whom victory hinges. Nice. I'm probably not going to do that until like I'm level 20 and if, um, that stuff just like ends. Um, actually. I can just run here. Iron Lance, Iron Bow, Thunder. Alright, I th think that's going to be it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode of Let's Play uh, Fire Emblem, um, whatever this game is, Awakening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some more off-camera grinding a little bit, and uh, next episode we're going to go to the next chapter. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.